as we start out here in Q1, as we're going pretty pretty slow through the little RAS cast here, here, as we power out, as we actually had a snap turn out of the corner there, so we didn't hit the inside walls, we tried to get as straight of a run here, the turn one here at Sandevault, as we hopefully will try some heroics here, as we are at the Novel Chicane, as we almost ran into the wall there, as we kind of got a little bit loose on the curve, as we are back at Loraskas here, as we go a little bit deep and then we kind of wheel spin on the exit there. As we come up to the line, we will be in a P20, which is pretty disappointing for us here, as we were really making some progress as we are only ahead of our teammate and one of the Williams as we will go to the race. Formula One returns to Monte Carlo once again today, home to the world famous Monte Carlo Casino, first opened in 1863. And of course, a certain road race first held here in 1929. There's no greater an occasion, no more valuable a win than the Monaco Grand Prix. We're on the French Riviera once more this weekend at the two mile long circuit to Monaco. The cars climb around 40 meters up through Beau Rivage, onto the casino, and then descending down towards the harbor through sector two. It's a very short run from pole position to the first of the 19 corners here, seven to the left and 11 to the right. There's one single DRS zone as well, so don't expect that to make overtaking any easier today. With me today, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Vettel, Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Albon, Perez, Norris, Sainz, and Lance Stroll, Ocon, Ricardo, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Magnussen, Grosjean, Raikkonen, Pierre Gasly, and Daniel Kvyat. Russell, the owner driver, Latifi, and Mahavir Ragunathan. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. As we sit here on the grid in P20 ahead of Latifi and Ragunathan here, as the lights are out, and we actually got pretty delayed there, but luckily in this game, it seemed like this year, we get pretty good starts as we come up the inside with a ton of cars we cut the chicane there uh, the chicane uh, cut Sandovault there at turn one as we're already up to 15th here as Magnuson and Giovinazzi are battling up there for 14th and 13th as we come here to Maribo we almost so close took our wing off of Magnuson as that uh that uh, pants moment almost as we kind of ran into Magnuson here as we pretty much had to break before even the left kink as it may have made us a little gun shy about being aggressive here as we're kind of just waiting on Magnuson and Giovinazzi to f finish their battle here as I try to get a run on Magnuson as if you look behind us uh, Raikkonen's getting a pretty good run there to our inside as we kind of had to cut the chicane there as he was coming up the inside as he kind of came out of nowhere I didn't see him to the last moment I tried to block him but he stayed committed there and probably too committed as he was never going to get ahead of us there as right in front of us Magnuson has blown up and then he cuts the inside there and he almost ran into us there as he could have really wrecked our day there with taking a wing off as it actually has not resulted in a safety car yet as we've gone halfway through the lap and it's now gone into a safety car as we have to slow down for the Delta as we come to the end of this lap we're actually in a pit and a couple of cars have come with us here as the safety car probably won't come in until lap 4, lap 5, which is going to be, you know, 15 laps on medium tires. It's not going to be very pleasant at the very end of the stint, but what it does give us is track position. As long as, like, Ragunathan and Latifi aren't so slow that when the other cars pit on lap 8, lap 9, we should be ahead of them. At least some of them, maybe not the, the Ferraris and... 
Mercedes, but we should be ahead of the a lot of the mid car packs if we get caught up to the group at the end of lap three as it took almost a full lap for us to catch up as we get back to racing on lap four going on the lap five as we get a pretty pretty terrible start there on signs as he's already probably let's see a half a second eight tenths ahead of us here as we come on to lap seven here coming into the tunnel signs has gotten really loose out of that corner which will allow us to get to the inside here for the kink at the tunnel but we are on the outside for the chicane as we go really deep and we're forced to cut the well cut it a little bit but we go really deep on the second part of it but we were able to make it stick there and move up a position that is actually a net position because he stopped he was one of the couple cars that stopped as you can see we went side by side through the tunnel as I really thought I was just gonna overshoot the corner completely I didn't think I'd be able to slow it down as we almost lose the back end there as the cars are starting to now come in on lap seven as you can see uh, Albon there who is above the grab almost got out ahead of us probably we cleared him by about five six seconds but in a matter of three laps he was already 15 17 seconds ahead as we come up into a net p7 it looks like as we come on to lap 13 as it actually will be net sixth because Hamilton somehow has not just pulled a absolute massive gap on us somehow as you can see now we are starting to develop a little bit of the train as the tire wear is really starting to kick in now as it's really really awful to deal with as, as you can see coming out of this corner we almost lose the back end well we lost the back wing we almost wrecked into the wall there as we actually use the wall to kind of stay out of the inside wall as we come on to the final lap here we lose the back end we're basically drifting at this point as signs got a well obviously got a much better run he didn't go drifting into turn one there as Sebastian Vettel <laughs> Ferrari win as I guess I started this career mode before uh, I imagine they have nerfed, nerfed the ever-living hell out of Ferrari there as we are just sliding as the front end just doesn't want to do anything as we lock up into the last cast here as we have only have one point on the season but that is definitely gonna increase with a sixth position here at Monaco all right race over take care of the car on the way in Excellent win from Ferrari. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive, and that's allowed them to take the advantage. at the podium you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe a world-class win for a world-class team Ferrari do it again And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. This result narrows the gap between our championship leader and the rest of the standings. Let's focus on the driver of the day. Anthony Davidson, who do you pick? I'm going to give it to the owner driver today. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximized their potential. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Ferrari continued to extend the gap at the top of the table. Meanwhile, good work from the owner driver's team this weekend who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.